I used to only use the JavaScript console in the Chrome DevTools for viewing JavaScript errors. But I read the documentation for the Chrome DevTools, particularly the JavaScript console, and I could see more scope. I learned that there were commands that I could issue that would help me when I was testing. And then I started playing with JavaScript games. I do mean playing with, not playing. Essentially hacking the games to get infinite lives and build bots to play them. Now I started doing that by understanding the code, intercepting the source code and proxies and changing it. The kind of stuff that we would normally do when we're doing technical web testing. But then I realized that I could replace the functions from the console and I could trigger functionality from the console. So I could write bots that could play games like this. And here I have given myself infinite lives because I have a bot running in the background and every time the lives get below three, I get given a new life. That's quite useful when I'm playing some games that I'm not particularly good at. I could write code that would use secret developer functionality when playing the game. So this secret map that is displayed is in the zxgaming.co.uk version of 3D Monster Maze, but you're not supposed to be able to use this map in the game. But I can use it to give myself an edge when I'm playing. So I can see roughly where the X is and where the T-Rex is. So I know when that T-Rex is coming to get me and he's coming to get me. He's right behind me. Oh, we still died. But I had a bit more of an edge there when I was playing that game. And I was able to write a bot that would play a game better than the human could. Certainly better than I could and probably better than most people could. And all of this I did because I learned enough JavaScript to be dangerous and how to write the JavaScript at the console. But as a tester, I want to interact with applications. So I really want to learn how to test applications under the GUI and explore the conditions. So instead of having to click the I want a slogan in this app every time I want to test the slogan generation, I should be able to just write a little bit of code at the console to generate a thousand sentences. That's the same as me clicking the button a thousand times, but I've automated this and I've automated this at the console with a little bit of JavaScript code. And if I'm testing the to do's application, instead of having to create to do's manually, I should be able to automatically generate these. I should be able to create a hundred or so just like that from the console, maybe add another thousand just like that. I should be able to use the console to create the data that I need in the application quickly to support my testing. I should be able to manipulate and interact with it from the console to set them all toggled without having to issue any of these commands manually. And all of this I can do from the JavaScript console because I learned a few basic JavaScript commands. I learned how to use variables, if then, for loops, while loops, and a couple of other commands. And I learned how to find the seams in a JavaScript application by knowing where to look in the source code and how to use the find functionality and how to use the console to check what I'm seeing in the code and see whether it's instantiated as a variable or an object that's accessible to me from the console. This has opened up new areas in my testing and it's what you can learn in my technical web testing 101 course in the section titled testing JavaScript from the browser dev tools console. We have a lot of stuff in here and we're still adding to it. And you can learn how to do the basic things, the skills that you've seen in this video.